Good afternoon, my name is Tara Fluke and I'm here to give you some information on a topic by the name of Second Language Acquisition. Second Language Acquisition is the study of how native speakers of one language acquire another language. Between the first language and the second language, the learner needs to construct some rule governed. The first would be interlanguage which is a grammar different from both the speaker's native language and the second language. The second, language transfer, when properties of a first language are carried over into a second language. The transfer can be either positive if it enhances second language acquisition or negative if it impedes it. Third, Language universals are the properties that all human languages have in common. Both language one and two acquisition must acquire grammatical knowledge that cannot be solely from exposure. Fourth, markedness refers to the way words are changed or added to give a special meaning. Naturally, it follows from the concept of universals. Structures that are consistent with universals are considered unmarked, while those that are inconsistent with universals are considered marked. For example, the present tense is unmarked for English verbs. If I just say walk, that refers to the present tense. But if I add something to the word walk, marking it, like adding an ED to the end, I can indicate the past as walked. The fifth, developmental processes. Speakers acquiring a second language go through stages similar to those that speakers go through when acquiring their, their native language. <clears throat> second language acquisition can be viewed from the perspective of phonology, morphology, syntax, and semantics. Phonology is the study of the sound system of language. It's the rules that govern pronunciation. Speakers may transfer the segmental structure, phonological and phonetic constraints from their first language to the second language. Interference of the first language is noticeable when the second language makes a phonemic distinction that does not exist in the first language. Interference from the first language and developmental processes may also interact during the second language acquisition. Morphology. Morphology is the study of word formation. It is concerned with the structure of words. Developmental processes play a major role in acquisition of second language morphology. The PLU, PRES, and POSS are morphemes and they are acquired according to their morphological function rather than their phonological form. Syntax. Syntax is the study of sentence formation. Syntax is one of the domains that has been studied the most. Researchers have found transfer, markedness, and developmental processes to play a role in interlanguage syntax. Semantics. Semantics is the study of meaning. The meaning of words, phrases, and sentences. Some strategies that occur when speakers attempt to acquire the vocabulary of a second language are overgeneralization of superordinates, inappropriate use of synonyms, and the use of circumlocutions. Common problems has to do with converses, difficulties with idioms, and word confusions. Non-linguistic influences on second language acquisition include age, cognitive, style, personality, 
and social psychological forces such as motivation and attitude. Thank you for your time.